Let me get What are the feathers? Freak! What's wrong with <laughs> How's it going everybody? Josh here from Fins and Tails. It's been a while since I've made a video for you guys, but we're gonna get back at it and uh, hopefully this year will be a really good year for videos and I'm, I'm excited, but I've had this, this idea for a while and I couldn't really pull it off in Truro. So I'm home for the holidays on the South Shore and my idea, like when I was a kid, I just loved making stuff like DIY. If I could make it, I'd love to. And, a lot to do with fishing and hunting, like make my own, obviously tie flies, but make lures and, and traps for muskrats and all these different things. And it got me thinking that I've never actually made a, a floating decoy for ducks and actually killed ducks off them. Like I've killed, I've made silhouettes, but I've never actually killed ducks off my own decoys. So I had an idea that why don't we do a video about a DIY hunt where we make decoys and then also make a call because those are really the most, the two most important things if you think about uh, trying to kill ducks, especially the kind of ducks we're gonna be chasing in this video. But it kind of, it got me thinking like, well, I can't make, can't make decoys for sea ducks or buffleheads or bluebills, something that would kind of toll a little bit easier, kind of something that would decoy easy and something that's not that fussy. But those one issue with that is that you can't call those ducks in. So, that leaves me with black ducks. And if you guys know what black ducks are, you know that they're not stupid and they have really good eyesight. And I've never made decoys before. So that makes me a little nervous, but also I know some old tips from uh, my grandfather and we'll try those. It might be a little bit different than you expect for, for decoys, but they're, it's kind of a proven method. So I'm hoping it will work out. And also we'll make, we'll make a duck call as well, but I'm excited to share with you guys this process and hopefully we actually get some ducks on the ground. Yeah, so we're gonna give the the decoy some time to dry and probably about two hours. But I got I'm gonna make probably four, I think four. And uh, I don't know. Going into this, I didn't really have a good idea what I wanted to do, but I knew sort of what I wanted to go with. And I mean, there's a ton of different ways to make decoys. You can make them in a cedar cork. Like I see a lot of different ways on YouTube and stuff. But one way I don't see, and I think it's kind of a technique that's pretty unique to. Here on the South Shore, I don't know for sure. I don't want to say that it is only down here, but I haven't heard tell of anyone else using this this method. But if you kind of notice on my decoy so far, it's just flat. I haven't got any like rounded shape to it. And I guess like most decoys, you're gonna paint them, right? Like that's the that's the next step after you've glued everything together and shaped it. You're gonna paint it. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go look for some some eelgrass, and I'm sure some of you know what it is, but a lot of you probably have never heard of eelgrass before. 
And what it is is it's like a green seaweed, but it's really thin. It's like just like grass in the ocean. And when storms come and stuff, it blows, it rips off the bottom, and it dries up on land, and it dries and it turns like a black-brown color. And back in the day, I know my grandfather and a lot of people, they would use eelgrass because it would work. It would, it would hunt decoys a lot of the time, especially the decoys back in the day, like the old flambeau decoys and stuff like that. Like they had a little bit of a glare and they were more tipsy, but these eelgrass decoys sit more like a real duck and they have no glare and the grass kind of in the wind looks like feathers. Yeah, so, going to give the, the decoys a break. It's the next day, and uh, so I guess the next thing is the duck call. And when I moved away to university about six years ago, seven years ago now, my grandfather, he was, he was uh, we did everything together. And when I left, he, he picked up a new hobby, making duck calls and, and pins and stuff on a lathe. He bought a lathe, so kind of locked out. I, uh, I don't know how to make a duck call, but... I've got, he's really good at it at this point. I'll probably mess up a couple times, but hopefully it turns out half decent. We'll see what happens. But I'm in the driveway right now, so we'll just go, go see what he's up to. You ain't got no, you got plenty of wood. What's in one's down there, Zebra? Nice. You can head that wood or you can head that piece out there. The purple? Yeah. What's that? Purple heart. Purple heart. That smoky color looks good. Okay, so. Oh dear. Purple heart. Put it on. Put it on this thing. Put that on like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now for you? <laughs> yeah, that's good. You just put that on there. This just got to go on there. So you gotta take that down. That's what you started on first? Yeah. Where the bang goes, okay. Square chisel? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't got a clue. Put the one. Uh, okay. Take it down till you get to that. Not that much. There we go. Got the band. And then now, got to cut. I guess that's for the lanyard, right? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's see, not too bad so far. All right, next step is. Rounder? Well, I ain't got a clue. You just grabbed the rock off the stool. <laughs> did you burn your hand? Yep, I did. <laughs> what, grab? 80. Let's start with that. Okay. Looking good after that sandpaper. Yeah, What's this? This polish is Okay. Is that gonna be a mess? I ain't gonna send you all these new clothes. How fast that dry? Seconds. <laughs> Get your fingers started. Beeswax and two free different takes.
They what? They ain't too shabby. First one. First one. That ain't bad. Okay, so we got it done. Tell you what, I don't want too bad from the first one, I'm telling you. It's not, not as good as Paws, but it's pretty, not bad. So I'm pretty pumped. I mean, he helped me definitely, but had something to go off of. He showed me all the, all the tricks. Never know, maybe I'll start making them someday. But moment of truth, we gotta see how it sounds. That sounds good. What do you think? I think it sounds pretty good. I think it will. I think it will call one in. But we gotta go see what my biggest critic thinks. You What are you doing, darling? What do you think? I mean, you're my hardest critic, so. Awesome, Josh. <laughs> Joshua, I love that color. <laughs> Good job, babe. First time. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Love you, Bob. Love ya. I'll show you real quick. This is the first boat Paul and I ever went fishing in. We called the Wrinkle Dog. Old <laughs> little flat bottom boat. It's like, I don't even know. It's like 10 foot. Not even. We used to drag that through the woods. He made it actually. Yeah, once we get the grass covered on there, look at that. That looks pretty good. Looks a lot like a duck. Okay, so there's no head. And my grandfather told me why they don't do heads on these. Basically, basically the reason that they don't do heads is because back in the day, a lot of the decoys they used to use had long heads and they would flare up, flare ducks all the time. Like they would just, it would spook ducks. Like it just seemed like a longer neck was the worst thing you could do. So what they did was they, when they started using these eelgrass decoys, they didn't put a head on them because it kind of just looks like a, kind of just looks like a duck feeding, right? Basically what I did is I got some net here, some netting, and I just uh, strung it and uh, tied it tied it together. And then to finish it off, all we, all we did here was, so pretty much, this is what we got. We got the line and right up to the decoy. It floats just like a normal decoy. Got lid here on the bottom so the keel flips over. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, so I got the decoys done. I think they look pretty good for being made from grass and foam. And uh, so we got four here. Plus we got a brand new duck call. And I'm pretty pumped. I got Will. Will's coming with me tomorrow. I'm gonna be the camera guy. And I think we got a good chance to get a couple, get a couple shots. So hopefully the plan works out. Hopefully we get some. But yeah, I'm just excited to test these out. See what happens. So see you guys in the morning. Thanks a lot. Yeah. See ya. He ain't supposed to be follow the drink this kind of stuff, but. When you get desperate, you gotta get up early and go docking. Sometimes you get ahead. If I make my coffee early in the morning, I'm, well, there's two things. I'm too lazy to get up early enough to make it, and it runs right through me, so can't. So I had to, it's my dirty little secret, I guess, drinking Tim Hortons. But, anyways, got Will on the camera, and we're ready to 
go smack some ducks. Got the farmer's breakfast wrapped. Moving on. Heard them already. I'm, I'm pumped. We're getting one. So anyways, we got the decoys out, and yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so if you don't want to lug a bunch of decoys, all you need to do, get one of these sticks with a bunch of branches, stick it in the ground like that. And then just stick it like that. <laughs> That's what my grandfather did to do. Okay, so we switched on the other side of the point now. The sun was coming up and we could we weren't in the shade at all. We were like l looming up. So we switched over to the other side. There's a couple ducks flying by. It's not a very good day. There's no wind at all. <laughs> <That's wrong. sighs> I'm gonna poop so bad. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, miss that sucker. <laughs> he was too far. But we ain't seen a duck. We ain't seen a duck the whole time we've been here, so. Oh, should we get a try in? <sighs> Pack out of shame, I guess. <sighs> okay, so. I messed up in a couple different ways. First of all, and most importantly, I don't know if you guys have heard this term before, but it is probably the most bluebird day I've ever seen in my life. Like there's literally, it's 11 o'clock. There is not a breath of wind still. Sunny, it's not good. No ducks flying at all. Uh, we had one earlier go by the decoys, but he flared up, couldn't get a shot. And then, and finally I heard one circle in, called them in, and, uh, yeah, I shot, he was a little too far, I should have let him circle again, and I missed him, so, not good. Okay, here's the thing. We tried to do this for two days, these stupid, these eelgrass decoys. And, I don't know. I'm starting to believe they ain't that effective. We got Will tucked in here. 
same farm as Man, you know. it's the tight squeeze in here. Tight squeeze. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm loving oh, yeah. it. Love soap. Look cold. Pneumonia. Got no ammonia. Ammonia. He in the day with well if he ain't got ammonia. Yeah. No good if I don't have it. <laughs> we got him tucked in pretty good, but I don't know. I think the ducks. I don't know. They're flaring, so. No, I don't think these were flaring ducks. They just probably weren't pulling them in. If you would have let me hide that one taller behind the duck. You said, you genuinely think that was our issue? I think it was the issue. No way! Why were they flaring? Well, they probably seen us after all, but I think if they would have kind of been a lot more dedicated to the legs, they would have seen the duck Dawson's making fun of me. Make fun of my decoys. Yeah, but wouldn't have went with this Josh Swimfall and get them old eelgrass decoys. <laughs> yeah. oh, we'll come up Don't get me wrong, it. he's a good fella, but what an idiot. Fella. So we're back at it again. Just myself this time, self-filming. Can't get it done. Something's always been going wrong. The wind's been, well, there hasn't been any wind. It's been the finest I've ever seen it down here in the winter. And I don't know, I'm starting to lose faith in these decoys, but I'm committed now, so we just gotta get it. I just need one duck on the ground just so I could show you, show you guys I can get it done, so. at this point but we're just trying to get it done we need one duck there's some flying around right now and i got the decoys out um the only change i've made i added some heads and i'll show you guys later it's just coming on daylight now so didn't really want to show you in the water but i'll show you guys in a little bit but i got my wife probably can't even see her it's so dark but got her filming today and we just need one duck i'm going back to Truro today so this is my last chance to get one so hopefully it works out Right here over top bus, over top bus. Got him! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Good job. Finally got it. <laughs> it was Finally worth it. My grandfather said don't put any heads on them. And I didn't want to put heads on them, I wanted to listen to his like the traditional way, but after four hunts I had to do something a little different. So I just stuck these, I just carved these little foam heads out of like that blue foam. Stuck them on a nail and just stuck them on the decoy. And they don't look good. <laughs> they don't look good at all, but we got a duck to come in close enough to kill, so that's all I can ask. Well, we ended up with one. Uh, we actually shot, I, sh I hit two, but we couldn't find the other one, but I'm more than happy, like, as you can see, these are not, 
These are not your brand new green head gear, avionics, stuff like that. That is not what these are. And I guess something you could learn from me from this video is if you get lost in the woods and you need to survive, just find some eelgrass. But other than that, I can't say I'd recommend them if you have the money to buy, if you have the money to buy decoys. <laughs> and with that being said, if we get 50 likes on this video, we're gonna give away a duck call. I'm not gonna give you guys this one because it has a lot of spit in it and you just don't want that. But I'm gonna give you guys one of my grandfather's calls and I'll even let you guys pick out the wood that you want. Whoever wins can pick out the wood that they want and the color insert they want. So if you guys want in on that, drop us a like, drop us a comment. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. You're scared to carry the duck? <laughs> I feel like that's usually the job you give me. <laughs> Make me feel like I participated in some way. <laughs> Good job. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> She's a natural. <laughs>